Hey you guys, if you're new here, my name is Jen and this is for Thick and Thin today. It is Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Uh, we just had a long weekend. What did you do over the weekend? Personally, I cleaned and chilled and that was it and it was marvelous. Um, today is Tuesday though, so it is Tag Tuesday where we are going to do a weight loss related tag video and today I decided to do Amberlynn Reed or Amber Reed or Amberlynn, whatever. Like she goes by, I guess, a bunch of different names. She put out a weight loss tag. So uh, I am going to do the tag. Okay, so the first question is when did you start gaining weight? And uh, honestly, I cannot remember a time when I wasn't the biggest person in the room. Even like, like obviously when I was um, like a small child, I wasn't bigger than adults, but uh as far as my age group goes i was always big so um i guess pretty young but i think i really started gaining weight there was a period in like maybe middle school where i got really heavy and then i really started gaining weight when i went to college freshman 15 did not exist for me it was like the freshman 40. <laughs> um i think when i graduated high school i was like 200 and 13 or 18 pounds and my highest weight was 271 pounds so maybe it was like the freshman 60 oops um i think in high school i had like a lot of i did sports uh well i did marching band and kind of a sport and i was really active with that and then i went to college and kind of stopped doing that and uh, started eating a lot of dining room food. They have really good, like orange chicken. I ate a lot of orange chicken, a lot of popcorn chicken, chicken tenders, uh, a lot of carbs, a lot of fried food, a lot of pizza. Yeah. And then, um, I think we'll talk about this a little bit later, but then I did lose weight doing, um, I went vegan a few years ago and I lost I think like 50 pounds, uh, but then I started being a junk food vegan and gained it all back, so here we are. Okay, question number two is, are you an emotional eater? I think I used to be an emotional eater for sure. I wouldn't call myself an emotional eater now. Um, I'm very careful with words that I choose for myself, so if I were to call myself an emotional eater, that is accepting that I use food to cope with things, and I don't, and I no longer do that, so I'm not an emotional eater any longer. Question number three is how long have you been dieting? Um, in the sense of how long have I been trying to lose weight my entire life? I'm not currently dieting. I don't really have any off-limits foods. I don't, like I'm not on like keto or low carb or high carb or whatever. I'm just eating intuitively and being responsible with my portions and choices and that's about it. Uh, that's the only thing that I find for myself that is sustainable. Uh, so I wouldn't really call what I'm doing a diet. Number four is, are you following a diet now? And I kind of answered this in the last question, but no. Um, I don't think that traditional dieting or diet culture, any of that is sustainable or honestly successful at all. I think like diet culture, you see a big weight loss drop in the beginning and then you kind of chase that high the entire time and you never quite get it back. So, uh... You know, the weight loss sucks. It's, it's not sustainable. Don't do anything you won't do for the rest of your life. That's kind of my goal. Or my diet plan. Ugh. Okay, number five is have you had success in the past? Um, yeah, as I talked about before, I went vegan and lost a bunch of weight, but even that seemed to be unsustainable for me, I guess, because then I started, because when I went vegan, I was whole foods, plant-based, so, like, all I was eating was, like, fruits and vegetables, which are very uh, low in calories, so, of course, I lost weight, and then I started eating, like, meat replacements and chemically garbage and, you know, oh, Oreos are vegan, so, um, gained it back real quick, and, and, like, an extra 10 pounds. Okay, number six is, do you follow a workout plan? Uh, I try to go for a walk every day with my dogs, but I'm not like on a specific plan. 
when the gyms open back up and it's like safe, I would love to be on like a three day cardio, two day strength training program. That's how I kind of feel the best. But uh, right now we're just making do with what we got, you know? Your number seven is what is your favorite diet? Uh, my favorite diet is anything that is sustainable. So for me, that's no diet. For me, that's intuitive eating where I just eat when I'm hungry and I stop when I'm full and that's, that's about it. I don't have any foods that I can't eat because uh, then I would binge on them and that's just what works for me. So it's my favorite diet, no diet. Okay, how much weight do I want to lose? a rough question I think I will know when I get there so I'm to like 38 right now uh, I mean at least I want to get under 200 I would think maybe around 180 pounds but I really won't know until I get there you know 180 pounds could look great on me and I could have a lot of muscle and it might be great it might be too big for me it might be too small for me like I won't know until I'm there I don't have this arbitrary number that I'm going to hit and just know that I've done it, you know, uh, it's just going to be kind of how I feel. Number nine is, do you feel like you're addicted to food? And no, I don't. Um, I feel like I have to eat food every day to survive, but um, addicted to the food in the sense that like I need to binge all the time? No. Uh, I feel like maybe I used to be, but that's not something that I have to deal with really anymore, uh, which I'm very thankful for. Number 10 is, are you comfortable with your body right now? I'm, I'm getting closer, I'm getting better, uh, I mean I think I will just feel better when I personally think I look a little bit better, I'm getting a little leaner, my face is leaning out a little bit, my tummy's coming in a little bit, uh, but I'm still not where I want to be, but closer. I, I would say I'm comfortable with myself, I'm just not, like I'm not there yet, you know, and that's okay, that's okay that I want to change the way my body looks, but I can be comfortable with how I look right now. Number 11 is do you deprive yourself of any food? Nope. And I don't think you should either. Uh, you know, diets, even like the vegan diet I went on, are only as good as long as you can sustain it. So if you, for instance, like do like a low carb diet, the second you start eating carbs again, your body's going to balloon up like 10 pounds immediately. So. I don't deprive myself of any food. If I want pasta, I'm gonna work it into my diet plan. If I want pizza, or I'm having pizza tonight for dinner. I'm having like a cauliflower crust veggie pizza and I'm super excited about it. Um, you can fit anything and everything into your diet plan. You need proper portions and you need to balance it out the rest of the day with other foods that you eat. But you can definitely, wh whatever you want to eat, comment something below if you think you can't fit it into your diet plan and I promise you I will figure out how to do it. We can figure it out together. Number 12 is how much weight have you lost in total? Um, as of like kind of this weight loss journey right here, this channel, what you've been following, uh, like 33 pounds, which I think is pretty, pretty good. Um, I have still have more to go. And then like we said previously, I did lose like 60 pounds when I went vegan, but gained it all back. So, you know. Number 13 is the biggest weight loss advice I have to someone who's trying to lose weight and that is just to do something that you can do for the rest of your life. If you don't think that you can eat low carb for the rest of your life, don't start it now because I think the thing that people think is that, oh, I'm going to eat X way for a year and then I'm going to be at my goal weight and I can eat how I used to eat and that, that's just not how it works, you guys. You need to eat the way that you will for the rest of your life. So like if you want to be a 150 pound woman, you have to eat like a 150 pound woman right now. You have to exercise like a 150 pound woman would exercise right now. You know, you have to embody totally what you want to be. So don't go at this thinking that you're gonna do some crash diet or some like super quick diet and then you're going to go back to how you were eating before but it'll be fine because you'll be skinny then that's not how it works because then you'll just gain all the weight back. So just do something sustainable, small baby steps and then you'll lose weight over time and you'll keep it off and that's what's important. Don't be like me, don't lose your weight and I have to redo it, it sucks, you waste a whole bunch of time, you kind of look silly, like just don't do it please. Just do something sustainable that you can do for the rest of your life. And then the last one is the first thing you would want to do at your goal weight. Um, I guess just take some pictures. You know, I don't really have 
like we said, like a goal weight that I like need to get to. It's just whenever I feel like I'm there. So I want to take some pictures, maybe do like a full spin, like to, to show everybody the difference and compare to myself before. Um, and then obviously make a video, like uh, that's going to be a huge thing for whenever we get there. But um, I'm not going to like, you know, go buy a bikini or like do blah 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 because like I could do that right now like if I want to go to the beach in a bikini well if the beaches were open I could do that right now and it would be fine like I'm all about body positivity there's not going to be something that is magically unlocked for me when I like weigh under 200 pounds it's not going to happen I'll just want to celebrate my own personal victory and take pictures and videos and celebrate with all of you um I don't I don't know what that goal weight is. I guess right now, like the goal weight is to get under 200 pounds, but I don't have like an end goal weight, so I guess it'll be hard to know when I get there, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, so thank you so so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. You're a part of our no click out crew and I appreciate you so so much. Mwah. Uh, if you haven't already, leave me a like down below. It really helps me grow my channel and I appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment what your weight loss advice would be to anyone who is starting their weight loss journey now. Um, and then I do reply to every single comment, so if you say something down below we can have a conversation about how your life is going and I always love to hear how you guys are doing on your weight loss journeys. And remember you can make today a great day, or not, the choice is yours. Have a good one! <laughs>